I'm Vivi Hickman, the CEO of the Melbourne Writers Festival. The partnership with University of Melbourne is a completely joyous partnership. And the reason for that is that it is two organisations, one <laughs> quite a Goliath <laughs> and a small little David in the festival because we are tiny, but we have a shared language and that comes from a shared belief and value system. In the broadest possible term, humanities being at the centre of people's lives. So the teaching of humanities and the reception of humanities and engagement with it in, in the Writers' Festival. Those fundamental shared goals make the, the partnership very easy actually, and, and lots of fun as well. The Peter Steele Lecture is a bit of a mainstay in the Writers' Festival program and we present it in conjunction with the University of Melbourne. Every year a different poet or a different speaker is chosen as an essential element of our program because we believe in the value of poetry and we believe in the way it speaks to people and we believe in the way it is a connector to the great human experience that we are all part of. I do believe that poetry is alive in Melbourne. There is an, an incredible marriage between literature, between poetry and between the city of Melbourne. And it is no accident that we're the UNESCO City for Literature. Peter Steele, Marking Time. For days you find it one long zero hour. Pen at the ready, helpless, helpless among the bold irregulars of scholarship. They have the legs on you, claiming that zebras are chiefly used to illustrate the letter Z. That the masculine of Dam is Dash. That Adam's punishment lay in his keeping Eve. That St George saved a little girl from a monstrous dragoon. A trapezium has become the thing in the gymnasium. Socrates dies from taking an overdose of wedlock. Heat is transmitted by conviction. Given time, You'd fall them into squads to drill backwards and forwards. On the mine's bull ring. Like Graves with his exuberant soldiers. But there's no time. They plunge into the night without memorial and without success. Flailing at ignorance. Sending back the word that the principal parts of the eye are the moat and the beam. That we must aim at proper goals. That someone is condoning lust, drugs and a merry life.